the 24th of April 2013. 1,138 people crushed to death and two and a half thousand injured as the Rana Plaza textiles factory came crashing to the ground in Bangladesh. The disaster sparked global calls to improve working conditions and the transparency of industry supply chains. But four years later, it seems little has changed. Now, new research shows that none of us have enough information about where or how the clothes we buy are made and whether or not our money is being used to support exploitation, human rights abuses and environmental destruction. The Fashion Transparency Index looked at 100 of the biggest global fashion brands and the information they give about their supply chains. None of the companies scored above 50 percent and three scored zero including luxury fashion house Dior. They did not reply to requests for a comment. Basic health and safety measures don't still don't exist for a lot of garment workers in the fashion industry, 80% of whom are women between the ages of you know, 18 and 35. We know that modern day slavery exists in the garment supply chain. Marks and Spencer, Adidas, Reebok and H&M got the highest score with 48%. But a member of the European Parliament, Anna Leitz, says while many brands are making positive changes, more needs to be done. We have to have European standards that the business can rely on produced situations and also that we as consumers, European-wide, can be relying on this has been produced in the way that we feel not ashamed of it. This week, global movement Fashion Revolution wants shoppers to use the hashtag WhoMadeMyClothes. It hopes it'll encourage companies to be more open arguing that if you can't see it, you can't fix it.